what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today is the day i finally i've been teasing it for it feels like probably two and a half three months now we finally have finished our custom ultimate boxing logan paul figure so let's get right on into it. All right, so as you guys know, we're going to do accessories, then get into the figure itself, just like we always do. I had this belt here. This is Jake's most valuable boxer belt, completely custom and commissioned by my buddy Turnquist Fig Belts. Follow him on Instagram. He does amazing quality work. You guys have seen it before. And join his Discord in order to get amazing commissions like this. It has the most valuable boxer at the top, the MVB, Jake Paul at the bottom, and it has the watches sculpted on the side here, and then I don't even know what that is, but he saw it and he did it, and for whatever reason, this side of the belt is like, for the most part, plain. So, I love the look of this, and Dan knocked it out of the park, as he always does, but this is my second time ever having a fully custom belt. Like I've had custom belts, but I have never had one entirely commissioned and done from scratch for me. I had this one done and then I had an It's Cobb one done by Chaos Wrestling Club. So if you want a custom belt like that, hit up Dan and see if he will be willing to do it because I know it was quite the task. For the Jake Paul figure itself, we have a, another custom head courtesy of my man House14. We weren't satisfied with the first official release that we did, so we jazzed it up, got a more accurate beard, more accurate hair sculpt, everything looks better all around, like the back of the head, everything looks so much better. The paint looks good, this one finally has the head tattoo on the side, and I didn't know this until he sent me the render that this Jake has a crooked nose, which Jake actually has, which is pretty wild. Oops, I forgot to putty that down. That is my fault. But let's go ahead and pop that back on and take a look at this custom chain that I had commissioned from House 14. You guys know I tout his work all the time. This was quite an expensive chain because nobody had done anything like it, so I had to have it done from scratch. This is Jake's Brass Knuckles chain. It's gonna be hard to see the details. I promise you there, they are there, but they had to be scaled down so much. Let me see if I can actually, here, I'll just use an accessory to point to the parts I'm talking about. So, up here, it actually says Problem Child in the middle. If you get far enough in, you can see it. It was a pain to paint. Obviously, you see the Brass Knuckles, which Jake has on his actual chain. Then we go down here and it says Paul on the knuckles, P-A-U-L. Amazing detail, insane work, and I knew if I wanted a true ultimate edition, I had to have the belt, I had to have the chain. Guess the only thing that's missing now is an entrance robe, which, crap, now that I said that, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get one of those just to complete the total package. Let's get into the figure. So once again, Curb Stomp City decals, hooked it up with the decals. If you need them, go get them. He, Jake now has a bunch more tattoos, so look for an updated one of these eventually. And once an updated one comes out, this one will be sold. So definitely be on the lookout. Just, Jake has a lot of nonsense tattoos, so I'm not gonna go and spend time like picking through what's what and where it is. You guys, you guys know. I mean, you got the question authority, got karma, problem child up there, in the upper chest, bunch of nonsense here, some really bad poke, uh, Pikachu there behind the arm, his spine tattoo, then of course his crap tattoos with the bow and arrow. He's got the American flag, which is pretty cool. He's got the gotcha hat and the hat. He's got some Dragon Ball Z characters. He has his betting band better bread betting brand better. And then just, you know, the skull with the wings. He's got the Nike logos. Nothing on this leg yet. But that is pretty freaking insane. So this formula is actually the Ultimate Edition AJ Styles torso. And it is the Rowdy Roddy Piper lower legs. It's the same formula I used on... I cannot remember who I used it on now. Oh well. 
but that is what it is. The boxing gloves are just from a random uh, Cowboy Bob or Orton that I had just sitting around. And I was, you know, I have a bag of them because I use the torso for customs. So the boxing gloves do come in handy. Uh, my buddy Alpha Action Figs actually did some of the paintwork on here. And he added this foam piece to where it actually sticks out in the front. To where it looks pretty cool. And he added the glitter in there. I don't know how he did that. There's a lot of like hidden details in the figure. It's pretty insane. But this Jake Paul was an absolute blast to put together. I'm glad that it is finally done, especially with his title belt that he created for himself because why not? We know they're cocky, you might as well have your own belt. And holy crap, does that look good. I mean, really can't complain about that at all. That is, that is solid. And now I just want to get it with even more updated tattoos, but I'll wait for his next fight. Let's go ahead and do a couple quick comparisons for Jake. We have his brother, Logan Paul, which I actually now, after looking at it like side by side with Jake, I made Logan way too short, but it does what it needs to do. And this one here, Alpha Action Vegas did the same thing. He took the foam and wrapped it all around the top. You can actually hear the the foam like texture to it but it looks it looks really good glad that he did that honestly and we have logan standing there and then we will pair him up beside the official release logan paul which scales way better it's just my boxing one is too short but i'm i'm very pleased with this this is such a solid figure and just there wasn't a detail that like went out like the only thing that is missing is that for this boxing gear Jake actually had like screens implant implemented into his shorts and they went like through here and they were like ever-changing you know like a sign that you would see like a ticker tape and I like I, there's no way to properly do those unless you just put like a black rectangle a few random blue letters in there to match it but I mean, other than that, that's all you can really do. But I like, let's just look at this head scan one more time. That is unmistakably Jake Paul. That is absolutely phenomenal. No detail went skipped here at all. Just the tattoos, the belt, the chain that we haven't even mentioned in a while, the chain being the cherry on top everything about this is just insane and i'm glad to have everything for a complete ultimate edition jake paul and that is pretty much going to be it for today as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and last but not least take it easy